Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome to a very impromptu update video, including as a tutorial video, I suppose, for version 2.2.2 uh, previously. But now, as of now, uh, if I'm not wrong, let's go to the title screen. It should be updated to version 3.2.2, if I'm not wrong. Let's take a look. So, oh no, okay, it's 2.2.3 at the bottom. There we go. So because there were some bugs that uh, Dana had to fix before it was updated from 2.2.2 to 2.2.3 That's a lot of decimal points to say <laughs> So, okay um, It's a very impromptu update video if you guys are watching it live right now on the Macross Spacetime Culture page um, Dana has dropped a bomb on us A very very surprising bomb They announced a brand new event that's replacing, maybe replacing, I don't know, too much details um, have not been given except for the whole bunch of Japanese text in the notification board. So we're gonna take a look at it straight away. Alright, so if you load the game, it, the notification board should pop up for you. And if you scroll down, you get to see this brand new banner right here. Now, this banner is basically informing you when uh, this particular event is going to happen. It's on the 27th of March till the 30th of March. Now, it's only a three-day event. So, according to the whole bunch of Japanese texts here, um, I do I did do some reading on it and uh, a bit of translations for whichever words I could not understand. So, basically, we are using the power of the divas uh, and the energy uh, during the current event, which is this uh, banner here, this this whole text here. So basically, during the fold, yeah, or uh, or the enemy attack phase or the Valkyrie attack phase during the live itself, uh, we will need to deplete the HP. You know, there we go, the HP of the enemy to zero. So basically the same thing as what you do normally in the, in, in the live uh, play uh, session of any event or even a normal play. So deplete the opponent's HP. Um, then of course there's a chance to gain a rare item for your Valkyrie, uh, for your Valkyrie upgrade. So rare item. And of course there is the chance for exchanging a 6 star plate as well during this event. So there we go, we have the information here that it says that you can exchange your 6 star plate. Here we go. Yeah, so um, it's 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 really a bomb on us. It's, uh, we did not expect a brand new event style um, coming. So it, I don't think it's replacing the first event of the month. I think it's just an additional event. So it's going to be four events within a month if they're going to keep this up. So it's, it's really surprising. Um, yeah, so as you can see, here's the duration of the, the dates. So there is the special... Let me just show you guys since the camera is blocking the screen. Macross movie... So the Macross movie uh, instructions are all here already. It's already been updated in the game. That's why if you if you take note of this small icon here at the bottom left hand corner, if you see the star blinking behind the banner, um, that's the button that you press to activate the movie, the Macross movie information. So <coughs> it will show you a whole flashing screen of warning, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, and enter to the whole dialogue phase with all the characters regarding this particular uh, event, that kind of stuff. So the duration that the movie is here is, is all dated there, then plus the event's actual date is on the second row, yeah, that kind of stuff. So not much has been revealed, you know, so if you do tap onto the movie icon, you enter it, um, you get come to this whole thing after you have skipped the entire dialogue session with all the characters with Elto, Vera, who and so on and so forth. So now at this page, they are asking you like which faction or which side you want to belong to. You want to belong to uh, uh, Elto, you want to belong to Brera. So the thing is, once you join this side, you cannot change. Okay, you cannot change sides. 
So think carefully who you want to belong to. Uh, I, I don't know whether this is like a player versus player thing where, let's say for example, if I choose Elto, uh, then whoever, maybe for example you, you chose Brera. Uh, so end up, maybe when we play the same live or the same song, uh, we have to op go against each other. So it's another kind of player versus high score thing, I suppose. Maybe like when doing the live itself, we are playing and we, we, we try and tap the notes to do damage to each other, that kind of stuff. So that's just my speculation on this. I don't know how is it going to go. So we're just going to go through this step by step. Alright, so for me personally, I'm a Ranka fanboy, so I'm going to go with Oni-chan. So <laughs> Brera is for me. So I'm going to choose Brera right here. I'm going to receive some kind of information here, so they're sending stuff. Alright, so let's take a look at what else is going to happen. So I'm I'm finding out everything here live with you guys. Um, there is no predetermined uh, study on this entire new thing. So alright, so we do have a banner right here. Um, they do tell us about the um, missions and then of course you get items from it. Uh, we can see all this here. Then of course there is this brand new thing, the Macross Cannon Gauge that was included in the version 2.2.2 update. Um, we will talk about that uh, soon enough. I guess it's really related to this particular event because initially when I was going to plan an update video on um, version 2.2.2, there was no link to the Macross Cannon information that was updated until now. So. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so here we go. We have the fold radar. It's a particular item. Then of course the active ether, I guess. Yeah, active ether. Um, so I guess it's something to do with your what's this a at what's AP? I can't really read. Oh no. So what's all this? So. Okay, apparently you can re-watch the movie, if I'm not wrong, through your the, the Culture Room's uh, chat box. I'm not sure if it's like that, so let's go check it out. So there is, ooh, there is a new item here that you can use to exchange the 6 star plates um, from this particular event. So, fantastic stuff, we are getting more free items. Um, for free episode plates, hopefully these episode plates are more powerful than the ones that we usually get from the um, normal events that we usually see. Then uh, there's trophy rewards, I guess um, they've probably gotten rid of those high score banners or images of the songs that uh, that's for the event itself. Then of course, the brand new items that we need for Valkyrie Tune Up. Alright, so fantastic stuff. So. I guess this is the, let's see, um, so I don't know why we are here at the member lobby, uh, I'm not too sure why. Okay, so let's scroll through. Um, so I guess this is a generic chat group for the event, who knows. So let's tap on this particular thing that has the icon there and immediately we get to see all the missions and the missions are daily formatted, oh my goodness. Um, so from now till um, the end of the day in Japan, we only have about eight and a half hours to clear all these daily missions. So hopefully you guys who are watching it live right now, you will get straight to it uh, soon enough. So, um, okay, so we basically have something to do with the lobby. So just now earlier, we were at the lobby um, seeing a whole list of other players. I guess we are supposed to fight against them. So then we're supposed to play a live. Uh, and clear 20 songs, I suppose. I don't know. Um, is it related to the current event that's running? Because I have quantities already filled up. Very strange. Um, then of course there is the full combo requirement as well. Then of course the Valkyrie Operations. Uh, so I guess Valkyrie Operations, if you guys are still not familiar with Valkyrie Operations, is the ones where you send your team of Valkyries to collect items and all that stuff. So you have to clear a certain... So, okay, in this kind of um, style of missions, I guess when it comes to clearing certain quantity of Valkyrie Operations, it is best not to full charge your Valkyrie Operations to its maximum difficulty. 
not five, uh, not five skulls, I, I mind you. Send them out immediately once you have gotten them, you know, batch by batch, immediately at the one skull difficulty Valkyrie operation. That's the best way to clear this kind of mission, especially if they are daily format. So guys, pay attention to this very clearly. Alright, so there's only three missions from this, which is pretty strange. So let's tap on it to see how we can actually clear it, um, just to get a hint. So, okay, so basically we don't have to... There we go, so all the songs, I think all the songs actually have there. They, they, they are all indicated with on top of the play button that you actually can use them to clear the, the mission itself. So I guess even the event songs, we can just go in. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, it's taking a while to load. Alright, so there we go. Even the missions on top, um, they produce the the item, the radar that we need, I suppose. So, pretty fantastic stuff. So, you can just play your normal event and you obtain the item straight away. So, wow, I didn't expect 9 people to be watching, so <laughs> fantastic stuff. Okay, um, then of course, under the Chaos Exchange tab, you, immediately you can see there is a brand new exchange tab that that is there for this particular event style, I suppose. Let's tap the episode plate. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to shift my camera because it's blocking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna shift it here. All right, so, all right, fantastic um, episode plate with uh, Cheryl and Ranka, and it's immediately a six star plate. You don't even have to evolve it. Wow. So I guess this is a new way for new players to come into the game um, with a decent episode plate. But strangely enough, I don't understand. Oh, okay, so it's it's level 1. It's not powered up. That's why the, the stats here are not its max value um, that we normally see in the gacha banners where we get to see the max value of the episode plate. So the total score at level 1 is 1,650. Um, the plate is generically balanced in all stats. So I guess that's what happens when it's a free episode plate. Um, the stats are basically on a generic term or level that, you know, it's not too overpowered, you know, because it's a free episode plate. So pretty fantastic stuff. So sadly to say center skill is the A rank. Uh, units total is only in a boosted by 10%. Now, I guess when you level up the plate, it's going to be increased. Um, so it's a life recovery active skill, life skill S rank, score repeat EX. What is this EX? So I guess the game has going has gone into another tier uh, that we normally see. So score repeat is usually um, for uh, uh, for songs that are very long durations, like uh, Sekan Eve, that is like three minutes long. Um, so yeah, so the score repeat. Skills usually, uh, and the skills will activate itself uh, after uh, every 30 seconds, as you can see here. Then for 2 seconds, the score is boosted by 40%, 45% up. Um, the percentage probably will increase when the plate powers up. So I don't know why it's there, this... Oh, okay, so... Oh... Okay, that's interesting. So this new format of episode plates basically is a song specific plate so it probably will only activate if you are playing lion so that's what this the song title here is for it's basically for a specific song oh the game has just got even more complicated oh god okay so i think there's a whole bunch of them that you can actually claim and wow they actually need six thousand medals and we only have until the 31st of March to claim them all. This is not good. So, I guess this is another form of grinding event. Um, so, that there, there are parts that you can actually... Ex oh, there's Icon! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, so, you have items for your decor room as well. I, I was wondering when they will implement Icon into the decor room. Now I really have to exchange it because Ranka is my base. So 
Ah, oh, I was wondering. There was Kululu in the decor room, but there was no other mascots from the Macross series. Now we have Icon here. Um, so I guess Guvava in the future will be added in the same way. Oh God, this is not good. Um, hopefully these decor items will be brought back in the future. Um, cause it is not, it is not, um, <coughs> it is not friendly to any Uta Macross player out there, especially for beginners who can't grind as much as the, the veterinarians, uh, veterinarians who actually played for a very long time like us. I've been playing for almost two years now that Uta Macross is coming to its second anniversary. So, it is not going to be very friendly for new players. This is not good. So, <coughs> oh god. Okay, so I kind of forgot this bit of information during the live broadcast. So this part is uh, recorded after that. <laughs> so uh, if you go into the Chaos Exchange tab, um, this other thing was added uh, within the version update 2.2.2. Which is this one, the UC exchange. Uh, no, not this UC, item exchange. So, this tab, you have to be very careful. Uh, during my first live broadcast explaining this function, I got the information a bit wrong and suffered for it quite greatly. So, if you take note, you can exchange this currency, which is your in-game currency here, um, with the items uh, or rather for for the items that you you would trade in for so you will get 100 uc for 100 small uh metal d stones so as you can see you can li exchange literally anything from your item category here including the super rare materials that you use for powering up your espresso plates which i so foolishly did uh, in my first live broadcast uh, updating you guys on this information so it's a painful lesson where I literally exchanged um, the max capacity which was 99 quantities or rather you know 495 pieces of this um, star material so <laughs> it was a painful experience uh, yeah so um, guys, please be careful with this. Do not exchange um, rare materials for in-game currency uh, using this method. Uh, I will only highly recommend maybe the more common materials that usually you get from um, now that you have the decor room, you will get your re rewards from there getting these materials or Valkyrie operations or even playing your usual songs or even the daily event songs that actually produce all these uh, materials for you when you clear the song at a certain, you know, full combo, perfect full combo, great, clear, whatever. So, yeah. So guys, this is pretty much the last bit of information uh, that is regarding version 2.2.2. Um, yeah, so let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, so... With that aside, we're gonna we're gonna try um we're gonna try figuring out how we can obtain um uh some of the I rewards I suppose um okay so let's take a look at Valkyrie operations first so immediately when I see that the game has been updated and you know um it's not past the refresher time for new missions to appear yet. There is a new mission, so this mis these missions are probably linked to the current uh, update for this par particularly new event style. Therefore, you can see there is a new icon. When there's a new icon, it usually means that you can get free singing stones out from these VOPs, which is fantastic. And these VOPs give you parts for your Valkyrie tune nuts, which usually only appear at the last set of missions at the uh, uh, within the day itself so which is going to appear within another 14 minutes before the game refreshes and then the new VOPs will appear with these parts again so I'm going to send my team out um, as you can see I have not mentioned I have not done a tutorial video on uh, team setup as of yet but you can see that I have my teams uh, mixed up with 
uh, different generations of Valkyries because these are actually the best means of uh, playing around with um, sending out your teams to get the series bonus, you know, that kind of stuff. So fantastic things. I will, I will create that video uh, in, I guess, the next two days. Um, the first video will be this one for the update for version 2.2.3. Uh, or rather, anything that has been updated from 2.2.2 to 2.2.3. Ay ay ay, that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> okay, so once this video goes up, the next one is probably about the Valkyrie team setup. And of course, the next one would be the most important one, which is the Diva uh, affection items that you need to feed the Divas accordingly. Um, to whatever sentence or phrase they mention. So, yeah, uh, patience, guys. Everything will be up real soon. Um, so this this whole video is just mainly about the new update for 2.2.3 onwards and the current event style, I suppose, prelude. So eventually there will be another video uh, breaking down the whole entire event once it's launched at the and on, on the 27th of March, um, once I've got gathered enough information to give you a precise breakdown. So, okay, I'm going to send out my team. Uh, once there's a series bonus, I'll definitely send it out. So, the time doesn't change accordingly, even though no matter what form I send my Valkyrie in. So, whichever resource you need, just send them out. Yeah, there's a lot of work. So, <laughs> um, Utama, because Dana is just giving me more things to do. Um, so guys, I greatly appreciate it if you watch my videos all the way to the end because it is a lot of work. Oh god, upon my normal work as well. So, uh, okay, so <laughs> let's move on. <coughs> okay, so in my last live update, uh, apparently a lot of the information was still unclear. So this time around, I can give you a more precise breakdown of what was introduced in version 2.2.3. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the simplest one. First, Valkyrie Tune Up. So, Valkyrie Tune Up previously was only restricted to level 1 upgrades of your Valkyries. Right now, the limitation has been increased to level 2. Therefore, new parts are required to, re uh, to upgrade your Valkyrie, and those new parts can be obtained from the upcoming new event. Uh, because, as you have seen earlier when we went into the Chaos Exchange page, um, the parts were already there. It's just that we don't have the medals used for um, exchanging them yet. So, my guess, those radar ticket looking things that you are currently getting from the um, songs, those are like your ticketing events tickets where you need them to play the songs for the upcoming event. So I don't understand why we are able to obtain those tickets so soon. Maybe because the duration for the upcoming event is only 3 days. That's why they are giving us the chance to obtain the tickets for the upcoming event earlier. So it's going to be another grind fest because maybe they realized the last event of the month a lot of people skip out on playing it because all you have to do is just obtain a good high score for your EX battle score and that's it. Most of the people will just lay off the game after that. So I guess they're trying to find ways to get people to continuously play the game. So that's how that's the answer for Dana I suppose. Um, so yeah as you can see straight away when we tap the, uh, the Shinka button so Tsinghua or Chinese is called Tsinghua in Japanese is Shinka I guess. Uh, so immediately you get to see the skills um, are just being powered up from 5% to 7% so that's all it is but we don't know for sure whether level 3 onwards whether the skills will gain additional lines of effects we don't know we let's see how Dina plays it out so that's pretty much the new update for Valkyrie tune-up um, as of 2.2.3 um, that's it all right so we're going to talk about the more complicated stuff, which is your decor room. Um, decor room basically isn't really affecting much except for three items within the decor room. So let's dive into the decor room by tapping the My Room button, which is the most top button on the left hand side. So yeah, 
<laughs> the camera is reverse order, so... Alright, so... <coughs> Excuse me, so... This video will be totally uncut. Um, so what you're watching is exactly what I did on the live stream on my cross space and culture. So, okay, so straight away you can see the three major items in your decor room are the ones with the bubbles at the top. Um, now, where can you find these three items? Basically, when you go touch this button here, this button is the one that lets you set up your room in uh, however design you want. So, they can be found in this button. This third button here is called interior. So, you tap it. Now, the, but the items are on the last tab here. Oops, did I get it wrong? Sorry. Um, where are they? That's strange. They used to be here. What happened to it? Okay, this is the poster one. Um, that's strange. Where did the button go? Huh. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why. But initially, the last button is the one where they will show you the the three items here. So I guess they removed that tab and made it default to be placed in the room, I suppose. Because a lot of people didn't notice that these three items are the main core uh, play points of the decor room or the, the, the decor, decor char mode. Um, why? It's because these three items will give you... Um, I would say a time reward because let's tap on it. So this one particularly, um, currently you can see the item level is level two. All right, uh, it takes twelve hours to to refresh. You know the entire amount, so you can get sixty five hours. Sixty five. Currently, I only have twenty six hours. Sixty five. So it takes a few more hours, which is here indicated in the top right hand corner. It's gonna take another seven hours and seven minutes to fully. Um, you know, get the entire quantity of sixty-five medals. Now, these medals are if you don't rec if you don't remember, these are the zodiac medals that you can use in the chaos exchange. Fantastic stuff! So it's gonna make a lot. Uh, it's gonna make you have more options on um, exchanging items like your re episode plate resources. Um, maybe even like the older episode plates of a lower tier, the three star, the four stars. Definitely, you won't be able to change for five star episode plates because those need a whopping amount of medals. So pay attention, and then of course the final line here. What does it actually mean? Well, it basically means you are fourteen decor items away from this leveling up. So interestingly enough, in order for you to gain more medals, you need to level up your well this statue. So. Same here goes for the Macross Cannon Energy Charger. Uh, right now, mine is level 2. <coughs> and it takes 12 hours to charge, well, 2%. So, um, we still don't really know what the Macross Cannon is used for. Probably is for the next upcoming event. Uh, is there a way to earn tickets other than the missions? Uh... What tickets are you talking about? So, um, if you're talking about the the li the live radar that was imp recently implemented, uh, sadly to say, you can only gain them by playing the lives, playing the songs, um, exactly like how the ticketing event is in the beginning of the month. So, there's no other way you can actually obtain them, I guess, except for maybe um, there was the missions that was there. They, they did give the radar tickets, so... I guess that's one way. But other than that, there's no other way. So, okay, so same thing. So you just need 24 more decor items. Yes, you need to exchange for the decor items. You don't have to place it in the room. You just have to uh, own them. So how do you know how many decor items you have? Basically, this bubble here with the number is the quantity of decor items you currently have for your room. Um, so you need a certain quantity in order for these to level up. So yeah. Then, once you level up, definitely you're going to have a whopping amount of items you can claim at the end of the refresh time. So, this one takes 24 hours to get the whole 150 DP, which is decor points. Decor points are important because you use them to exchange for decor items, which is good stuff because you want to level up all these 
So these, this particular one here is the most important one. Uh, <laughs> then followed by, um, I guess the Zodiac Medal uh, trophy. Then of course the 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 Macross Cannon Charger, I suppose. But all are equally important because right now, um, the only one that we really have no idea about is the Macross Cannon one. <coughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna claim them right now so you can see for yourself. For example, um what you actually obtain so here we go we have 26 medals for the zodiac exchange and then of course the decor points then of course the last one is basically this your macross cannon now some of the japanese fans have already gotten their cannon almost halfway charged and then there is this number gauge here so my guess is you can actually charge them beyond um what you normally get so i guess when you get a full charge it will change to a one then another full charge to become two we don't know what's the max capacity charge is of yet so yeah be patient guys all will be revealed in time soon enough and uh, the japanese hardcore fans will definitely go beyond their way to you know try and obtain the most crazy amount of charges so yeah <laughs> um all right so let's take a look at the the call room chat box. Now the chat box basically um, is just oh there are people who actually came in to say hi. So <laughs> um, yeah, you can actually talk to the fans or friends that you have uh, that come and pay a visit to your room. Now you can actually do the same. You can actually pay a visit to your friend's room. Um, if they are friends of you, you know, that kind of thing. So there is a quantity limit right now of 90 friends for each account. So, you know, make sure you clear away those friends who no longer play, like those that have not touched the game for, you know, above a week or so, and add new friends because you want them to be active. All right, so what does this button do? Basically, it changes your view of your... You know, like right now, I'm I'm being seen as the medal, so you can change that accordingly. Yeah, fantastic stuff. So the refresh button basically is to refresh the chat to see whether there's any new chat that has appeared. All right, stamp, stamp maker. So if you guys like stickers in your chats, like Line, WhatsApp, uh, I don't know what other chats there are out there. So you can actually create your own chats. I have created two right here. So Freya is giving the angry face like uh, Yoroshiku then, so, uh, then of course Ranka looking sweet and saying they culture so in order to make your own stamp you tap on this grey spot here then you choose your favorite icon accordingly then of course let's say for example Kaname then I want to choose um, yeah let's choose Kaname then of course the first tap okay I'm gonna have to shift my camera again all right so here we go so the first tap um, the first tab here basically shows you all the available chats if I'm not wrong or no, no the most common chat the first tab is the most common chat that can be used for all the divas then of course followed by um, the bottom three the bottom three are exclusive chat bubbles that's only for the character sadly to say you cannot just use them you have to exchange for them Yes, you have to use the core points to exchange for them. So, um, they do count in to your quantity for your decor items. So, if you want to power up those medals or statues that give you the rewards, you need to purchase them. So, continuously exchange for all these goodies. Um, yeah, so, how do you use the stamps that you've created? Basically, you tap this stamp button here. And, of course, uh... You know tap on the the particular stamp that you want to post out then there we go so i have already replied everybody you rushed good so everybody here has been replied to <laughs> not that i will use this very frequently but it's nice to see people come in to talk to you um all right so let's move on for to more of the information in the decor room because the decor room is one hell of a annoying nice looking thing to have <laughs> all right so um Alright, so if you go back into the editing tab, you can actually change your bubbles of your divas chats accordingly. They will periodically um, use their chat bubbles that you assign them to, you know, once uh, you've exited this particular editor. Okay, so the first tab here basically is your room's wallpaper. 
So you can actually just change one side of the room's wallpaper like so then the rest of it uh, retains the same that kind of stuff if you're the kind of person who likes to do some editing yourself or you can just change everything as a whole you know so I'm, I'm not gonna mess around with it too much the second bubble here is basically your characters you can add how many divas you want into your room you want it to be a whole mess you know of divas from every single generation is fine as well and of course there is a notice here that says others so what does that mean it means Dana does plan to have other characters from other Macross series added into this game so those chibi characters that you see on the loading screens they could be planned to be implemented into the game in the future like Bok, uh, Hayate and Keith so on and so forth they could be implemented into the game in the future as you know characters that bobbing around in your room so that's pretty fantastic stuff you know so for Macross Plus fans and of course um, whatever Macross 2 whichever franchise you actually like um, yeah be patient they might be implemented into the game in the future alright so we have explored the interior button the last one is your ex oh there we go so it's here <laughs> okay so um, this is the extra tab so basically these are the three important things that you need to have in your room constantly uh, in the future they might be added they might be adding more because as uh, one in the future when the game gets uh, updated more with more content there's gonna be more stuff so yeah pay close attention to this extra tab especially so as you can see it just tells you what does it is it, what is it used for so it's this macross cannon energy uh, and so you're gonna have lots of lots of stuff so yeah oh, okay so we're done we're kind of done so there's one other button here um, now you can tap this particular button here and it gives you the uh, exchange page you can see the adorable Qlulu is sitting in the top left hand corner um, this page can be accessed through the chaos exchange page as well um, but you know it's just for convenience sake so you can scroll through the entire list of top bubbles that you can exchange for and of course you have your quantity of decor points that you currently have then you have your folder you know you can arrange to whatever series that you, uh, you want you know like I want to change bubbles for Macross 7 so you have all your then bubbles that's for Macross 7 that's bracketed here saying that it belongs to Milane then of course if you scroll down further you will say it belongs to Basara that kind of stuff so pretty fantastic stuff if you are just looking for specific divas from specific series alright so interior is the next tab and you can see the entire list of items that you can exchange for uh, belonging to whichever divas where you can arrange them accordingly as well so you want them to be like large size medium size small size that kind of stuff so pretty easy to uh, navigate around the last one is basically your wallpapers for your rooms as you can see I've already exchanged one for Ranka of course I would want to uh, create a room just specifically for Ranka maybe recreate her room that is from the anime series or the movie you know that kind of stuff like um, Miu did I know Miu did a uh, room exactly like Ranka's from the anime series good job <laughs> alright so I think that's it um, they call they call charm room <laughs> oh, I'm still having problems pronouncing that so um, that's pretty much it so like I tapped this earlier it's basically the collect all button and just tap it and it will redeem everything that's around there is also the other thing that is not here right now oh yes you can actually drag your diva around the room you can flick them around that kind of stuff <laughs> so um, there is actually one other item that you can collect from this room uh, which is a basket of flowers um, th that one usually gives you the resources for your episode plates um, your basic resources not the ones that are extremely rare um, so yeah okay then there is this blue set of buttons at the top um, which is pretty obvious like this one is basically to change your room's name then the camera one is basically to take a photo of your room then of course there are other icons behind the camera that I'm currently at right here but they are not really important like the search one and the settings um, then of course the most important one here is the list of saves 
that you can have for your room. So my current room is currently safe on the first line, that's why it's fully highlighted. Of course, the pink button is the one that you want to tap to save the room on that specific row. The middle button is the one you want to stay away from because that's the one that deletes your your you know stored information for that particular room. Do not press that unless you really want to delete that information. The leftmost button is the one that you withdraw the information from that safe state. So pretty, uh, you know, awesome stuff. Uh, it's pretty understandable if you have played the game long enough because that's how you save your divas. Uh, plate setups and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see the button here the button here for the movie is still around. Alright so how do you visit your friends? Basically it's the shoe button here. Let's tap that. We're gonna enter into the friend page then you can see the whole list of friends here. Now if you're wondering what the heck is this Japanese text with the number basically that's the fan number. Means how many fans are are following you friends who are your fans you know that kind of thing so what is it for it's basically easier uh, access to how you can gift your friends now as you see this row of text here and the numbers you currently have 20 out of 20 gifts to give your friends now usually what I do is whoever I, I really um, adore you know, as you can see, I have a list of friends, and you can see that uh, Cecilia is one of them. Hi! <laughs> so, Cecilia, if you have watched my video, you probably can see your name here. So, um, yeah, so I usually give my fans first, those who are actually fans of me, or I'm a fan of them. I'll just give them the gifts first, prioritize them by tapping the button here. Uh, by tapping this button here, it just gives them automatically, instead of tapping the individual white buttons below. Alright, so those who have not given in your friends list they will give accordingly to how you sort your friends list so like um right now i'm i'm sorting them according to the most recent most recently logged in or rank or fans in the uh, fan listing so um so i will give accordingly to those who have recently logged in like this friend hasn't logged in in four days so I do not want to give them because I think they don't really deserve it because they haven't really been playing. So I'm going to sort my thing accordingly to the most recently logged in. So all the friends that have been most recently logged in will be receiving the remaining amount of gifts. So there we go. So I mean you can't give to everybody because you have 90 friends in your friends list and you only have 20 items. So you'll be giving them um, the gifts. Then of course in exchange you'll be getting the core points. So pretty fantastic stuff. Alright. So what is the last hat? Basically, it is um, w random people from the interweb of the game. Um, you can give to them as well um, because maybe you think that your friends haven't been active enough and they don't deserve the reward, so you give to other strangers. That kind of stuff. And you can also ask them to become your friends, that kind of thing. So you can just tap the blue button, enter into this page, which is taking a while to load, which is, yeah, so you can actually enter their room, take a look at their condition of the room, um, then you can actually, you know, become their fan, or you can request to be a friend, alright, so these are the buttons that you can tap, so you can request them to be a friend, but because my friend list is currently maxed out, I can't do so, uh, you can try sending, but it will give you the warning message that you, you'll be rejected, so, alright, so how to return back to your room, press the blue button again, Right, so as you can see, I'm running on Wi-Fi actually, so it takes the game to load quite a bit. So if you're on mobile data, this is going to take even longer. Ah, there we go, we have the basket of flowers already, so I can actually show you an example of claiming the basket of flowers. So there we go, so I've gotten my medals, and of course the basket of flowers will give you this and this. So a bit of UC currency plus the stones for your episode plates. Fantastic. Okay, so we've covered everything in the decor room as of now. Let's exit and go back to the home page. Um, yeah, so... Guys, what I think about this current bomb of the new event on us, it's really sudden. Oh, so this is the chat group. Um, so I guess you can only enter the mission page for this. There we go. So... Wait, I didn't even play a live. Eh? So how did I... 
Eh? <laughs> okay, this is really strange. I really need to go and break down this again. So, this is just a rough update on this. But it is a full breakdown on the decor room and the update for version 2.2.3. So, I, I really need to go figure out how is this claim. So, because just I didn't play a single life, but yet I managed to get. Eh? <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on? Okay, so it's something to do with the lobby. Um, I don't know. So, a live lobby. I what is going on? I, I strange. Okay, so <laughs> contribution effort. My team. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks Ella for letting me know. So why I completed this without even playing is because whichever team I joined. If you remember the beginning of this video where you choose between the Elto team and the Brera team. So because I'm under the Brera team. The, the members under the Brera team have been playing, so it does accumulate in all this. So, interesting. So, uh, right now, nobody has been doing Valkyrie operations, so I guess that's why this has not increased while the rest of them have been playing lives constantly from the event. That's why it has, uh, it's, uh, yeah, filled up. Alright, so thanks for letting me know. Okay, so, <laughs> um, right, so strange enough, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, I'm gonna claim all this stuff. Uh, I guess we can't really use these items yet because the event hasn't started, so it's just it's just an accumulation for um, getting ready when the event starts on the 27th of March, which is gonna happen in four days' time. Very excited. So let's take a look at what the rest of the buttons do. So we have the information tab here. Okay, that's not needed. So it's just pretty much the same thing as what um, the check for the the call room is. Um, okay, so you can actually search for bet battle lock, battle lock, so notes, hmm, okay, so nothing really special from the chat group, except that now I have a, a single radar uh, for the upcoming event, so, hmm, okay, so guys, I'm gonna edit here. Um, that's pretty much all the update there is for version 2.2.3 and the current recent drop for this uh, brand new event style. Um, I will definitely do a breakdown video for the upcoming event if they're going to implement it as a permanent thing. Um, definitely going to be very interesting on how um, it's going to affect new players and old players because of the brand new episode plates that they are going to give through the exchange system for this event. Uh, since it's a six star immediately, plus you know, um, getting multiple copies of six stars is gonna help a lot, uh, especially for those who are lacking behind on the high score um, achievements, because we don't have the money to actually pull gachas every day like whales. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are watching this live, thank you guys for staying until this long. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, current update and all the brand new stuff that's added into Utah Cross. Once this video is live on my YouTube channel, you can comment down below. Um, sadly to say, I'll be removing this video off my Facebook group because it is, you know, better to have it there permanently. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button down below if you've, if you've appreciated all the information, uh, especially those who have been sharing the, through the comments um, while this was being live broadcasted. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not subscribed just yet. Um, do like my Facebook page, the link's all in the description down below. And join us on the Cross Space Time Culture where we can share the culture across the world uh, with all the friends and fans from all parts of the world. Um, yeah, so until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!